Hola, Bernardo! Hey, William! OMG, shouldn't you be in Portugal? Yes, I should, but I'm in London! <laughs> yes, and the acts from Festival da Canção have been announced. Two semifinals, how many contestants? 16. But only one winner. Should we talk about them? <laughs> Let's do this! The 16 acts are Marcia, Golden Slumbers, Fernando Daniel, Diolinda Kinzimba, Rui Drummond, Lisa Garden, Salvador Sobral, a trio led by Kika, David Gomez, Lena Dagua, Beatrice Felicio, Pedro Gonçalves, Helena Kindle, Selena da Piedade, Jorge Benvinda, and Elisa Rodriguez. Now that was a mouthful. Bernardo, kick us off with your first favorite. Without hearing the songs, and I'm only going to base my opinion in what I know f from the backstory of the, of, of the artist, I'm going to have to say Fernando Daniel is the winner of The Voice yeah. Portugal. The most recent winner. 10 million views, his audition, his blind audition on YouTube, the most watched audition of X Factor. Of X Factor, no, of The Voice. Yeah, I was plugged into The Voice Portugal. I heard him sing Adele when we yes. were young. Oh my gosh, he sounded so emotional. He's very sexy, but very kind. A man in touch with his emotions. I see Portuguese women with ovaries exploding, honey! Kaboom! Yes, those ovaries are everywhere. There's something very likable about him. He's got a big voice, he's got a big body. I think he's going to appeal to men and women. And he's paired with a very, very good composer and producer. Nuno Feist! Honey! Yes! He is a veteran of Festival de Canção, more than 10 participations. To cue it to 2010, Vanessa Alvarado. Yeah. Didn't he sing at Eurovision 85-ish? Eurovision? No, in Festival de Canção. Oh, sorry, 85 something. It was his only participation as a singer. Amazing. Actually. Is really, really good. But Fernando, we're feeling very, very positive indeed. And there are lots of contestants from The Voice. Yes, and then, then we have Diolinda Kinzimba, The Voice 2015 winner from Africa, honey! <laughs> yes, serving that Angolan, Mozambique, Portuguese realness. Yes, she's really good. She has, she, she's such a power vocalist. She has amazing range in her voice. Mm. She knows how to do it. She's a diva. She's a power she diva. She covered Beyonce's Listen. She covered Beyonce's. Oh, that was good. She, she's really good. She's and also Whitney Houston's I Will Love You. She's kind of taking all the great, you know, African-American singers of the past, taking their songs, making them her own, big voice. She also knows how to move. I know this in those videos, so it's very promising. And she won. She has the public yeah. behind her. Absolutely. The next name is Rui Drummond as 2005 oh. contestant, 2014 The Voice was, winner. Did she sing with Al Brew? What was her name? Lucia? Luciana Abreu. Yeah, they came 17th in their semi-final. Listen, the microphone wasn't working properly. Wait, is that real? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! The mic wasn't working properly. Allegedly. And, allegedly, and the broadcaster didn't ask them to repeat the song. Well, clearly R2P didn't believe in the song. So tell me this. <laughs> they did because it wasn't journal selection, honey! <laughs> How did he do on The Voice? He won. Okay, this is interesting because he was at Eurovision 2005, he comes to The Voice 2014. 14? That's a long, you know, what had he been doing in between? I, th I don't, I don't know. I think it, it, I, I think it was like up and coming in some some uh, contest, contests and programs on RTP as backing vocalist and performing a couple of songs like doing covers of songs and then it came on the voice and he won. He conquered the arts of the Portuguese people because Portuguese people already knew him. I gotta say, I it. didn't like his cover of Avicii, Wake Me Up. He didn't make it his own. The other acts we've spoken about, they've made the songs their own whereas with him karaoke cover. He's paired with Eber Marquez. He's very well known in Portugal for making happy, happy songs. Okay. So let's see if this works. Bring it out. Bring out the happy. Going back to the voice, we have Pedro Gonçalves. He's like 16, 17 oh, year old boy who yeah. sang, 
I think... He was runner-up, wasn't he? He was runner-up to Jelinda back in 2015. That's, that's amazing. He was so young when he was runner-up. But he has confidence beyond his years. Mm -hmm. Don't let the baby face fool you. There is a male vocalist, a man inside of him. Then, curiously, we have here Salvador Sobral. I think he's a family member of Luisa Sobral, which is the composer of the song. I don't oh. know if they're brother and sister, or sister and brother in this case. But it's going to be very curious because they know each other's from the bottom. Of the yes, fetus. from the fetus. <laughs> from uh, the fetus. Yes. <laughs> they're not twins. I don't know why. <laughs> who, <laughs> who was the one who covered Beyonce's Crazy in Love on the voice? Oh, it's going to be. I think it's David Gomez. Yes. David Gomez. He took Beyonce's Crazy in Love. He slowed it down and made it better. Now I love the original. It's. Uh, uh, like slow down without the horns, it still worked. That is a true artist. He's not just yeah. a flowering pop star. He's an artist because you really felt something with his unique take on it. His voice is so strong. He's so confident on the yes. stage. Probably from this lot is and with with Fernando Daniel, they're the most confident okay. performers on stage, and that goes through the camera and captivates the audience. So I'm really excited to see them in Festival they Can Sell in a couple of weeks, honey! Well, those are the 16 acts competing at Festival de Can Sell. We have reviewed some of the favorites. Who are your favorites? Can any of the voice winners repeat their success in Portugal's national selection? Or will one of the other contestants like Miss Kika slay their way to the top? You can let us know here on We We Blogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe, yes! Yes, and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.